There's a new effort to try to curb the amount of out of state trash that's being dumped into our landfills in Michigan. Our state has the most trash buried per person of any state in the nation. A big chunk of it comes in from other states and Canada. The reason why? Because it's cheap to dump garbage in Michigan. Now there's a push to change that. It's an issue that impacts all of us. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Whitney Burney is talking to key stakeholders from people who live near landfills to those who work in the waste industry who say there's a cost to all of this. Like an eggy, toxic smell. Neighbors near Silver Bell Road in Orion Township. In the summer, with the heat, we get a little stink coming from there. Say when they first moved here, the nearby landfill was barely noticeable. But over the years, it just kept growing. More than anything, it's an eyesore, and it's like, it's a mountain all of a sudden, you know? And before you couldn't see it behind the houses, now it just pops up from every angle. Every year, Michiganders throw away millions of cubic yards of garbage, sending it to landfills like the one here behind me in Oakland County. But it turns out nearly 25% of the trash currently in our landfills is actually from outside of the state. A fairly unique problem to Michigan. I reached out to an environmentalist who says this can all be traced back to something called a tipping fee. Which is the a fee that trash haulers pay when they dump trash into a landfill. All states have it, uh, but Michigan's happens to be dramatically lower than any other states. Ours is 36 cents a ton, whereas the average for the states around us is over $5, $5.30. Phil Roos is the executive director of Michigan's Department of Energy, Great Lakes and Environment. He says the low fee has made the state a magnet for imported trash from other states and Canada. I think we can all agree we put too much into landfills, but when you add to that almost 25 percent of it coming from out of state, it creates its own contamination issues or risks. Concerns neighbors living near the landfills also share. They say that it's regulated and it's contained and it, you know, they're out measuring all the levels of everything, but uh, it is close enough that you do always have concern about the groundwater. Is the reason the state is now working to raise the tipping fee to $5 per ton. I wanted to know what the other side of all of this is. I reached out to multiple landfill owners and companies. No one wanted to go on camera to talk about this, but I did get one response directing me to the Michigan Waste and Recycling Association, which sent the following statement saying in part, an increase of this magnitude would add costs to virtually every household and business in the state, as well as local governments, hospitals, public safety organizations and school districts. While Eagle did not mention any added costs for state residents, they say the increased fee stands to rake in up to $80 million and would go toward remediating the 26,000 contaminated sites across the state. The money will go into three primary areas, uh, cleaning up contaminated sites, that 26,000 number that I have known contaminated sites mm -hmm. around the state. Brownfield redevelopment would be another, helping to promote our recycling efforts. Eagle says this could also buy more time for landfills that are filling up at alarming rates, a plan Michiganders say they can get behind. Why do we have Canada? It seems like they've got a lot of open land and stuff. You know? Yeah. If we take their garbage, why don't we get their oil? Eagle says if everything goes according to plan, they're hoping to see action on this measure before the end of the year. Reporting here in Oakland County, Whitney Burney, 7 Action News.